Good morning, everybody. Angel and Andres here with a and Deluxe Detail. We hope you guys are having a great day. We did not know what to expect with this Volvo behind us, but after speaking with our loyal client, we found out that it needs a full interior detail. We need to extract some stains and we need a clay bar on the outside with a nice little sealant. All right, guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and let's get started on this detail. You had to bring all your stuff up, up the hill? Yes. Why is that? The truck would not make it up this hill, right? No? So, do you have any other uh, equipment that you, d that you didn't bring? Well, yeah, there's more equipment in the truck, but we're not gonna need it all. No? Okay. Cool, cool. What's your game plan? So the game plan is to attack the interior first, make sure we hit all the seats with the extraction, nice vacuum, brush all the crevices, all the cracks, and then we will take it on the outside. What are you doing here, Andres? I'm getting the extractor ready, okay. filling up the water. Are you going to use any uh, chemicals with it or not? No, this is uh, all water. The water just comes out hot, steaming hot, so we're good with that. And this is for the, uh, the right? Yes, for the seats and just any stain that's in the carpets or on the floors, we're going to hit it. What's going on, Angel? Just replying to some DMs here. DMs? For business, for business, for business, oh, for, okay. business, for, business. <laughs> for, yeah. for business. I'll read the message. Good morning. I was wondering if I could possibly get a quote for a detail service on a Honda Civic. The way I would respond to that is asking more questions because I don't know exactly what she's looking for in her detail. So I would just, I need to start. I just got that. I just got to it. We got it at 9.15 a.m. and now 10.15, so an hour ago, but we've been busy, you know, so. I gotta get Do you to that. think you'll, you'll accept the, the detail after you ask the questions or? Um, if we are the fit for her, yes. Okay. And that's what, is this Mighty, Mighty the, your first extractor you had or? Correct, it's our first um, oh, professional extractor. What did you have before? We had the bristle, those pet, those pet um, stain removals. From Target? Yeah, bro, you know, hey man. Had a star on the budget, you know, they didn't have a good pocket. Yeah, yeah. So, so compare this one compared to the Bissell. Which one do you like more? Like, oh, this makes life way easier, bro. You know, the heated water. You don't even need um, any chemicals or anything. This will loosen it all up and agitate it on its own. So, for any uh, like details that are coming up, would you suggest them buy that Bissell one or get this one right away? Well, look, if you only got a hundred bucks, you know, go get that Bissell. Maybe do a couple jobs and then you're able to afford the big one, you know? Do business the right way, you know? Sometimes you don't need the best equipment. Sometimes you gotta promote yourself and be, learn how to generate clients with, without having the best tools, you know? Learn how to, learn how to, yeah. Learn how to service clients and provide any type of work. How did the extraction go? Extraction went well. Um, took off most of the stains that I saw and the car is really clean now. Any uh, surprises? No, everything was very typical common stuff. Just little food stains, nothing nothing out of the ordinary. Will it be hard to remove all these dead bugs? No, because I think she just, if it were to stay there for like a long time, yes, but she just went like this past oh, weekend. So these are fresh? Yeah, it's fresh. I don't want to scratch the paint. Uh, probably that. Cause yeah, they mostly. Them off, but you can feel the. Yeah, if you can feel it though, right? Still some that are. If you put your rubber hand through it, it's not going to be as soft. So the clay bar is going to leave it like, as they say in the detail, bro, like soft like a baby. But yeah, like it's going to feel brand new. <laughs> And be like, so right now, 
there's still like bug parts. Yeah, there's still bug parts and maybe there's like light decontaminations, whether it's maybe it's like right here, it looks like some dirt. Look, check it out. It's very small, but some oh, yeah. dirt. Oh, yeah. Well, this car is, yeah, we did ceramic coat this car. So whenever she goes off-roading like that, a nice basic wash will basically decontaminate the whole car. But we're gonna hit it with the clay bar and with this, a little wax seal on top just to bring it in a shape. Fresh clay bar, hold it. Right? Hold it. And take out these gloves. Let me take them off. Get us want this? Huh. <laughs> Do you want this? <laughs> Is that a specific brand they are? No, oh, well, our local, our local detailing store is Chemical Guys, so that is what we work with for now. Unless there's any sponsorships out there, any clay wiring companies, get at your boys, you know? You're killing it out here. So those two pieces will cover the whole entire car? Yeah. They actually, since this car is not that dirty, we can actually use it again. <laughs> But if the car is like trashed and all that, we would we would use a heavier clay bar because there's the specific types like light, medium, heavy. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So this is a light clay bar? Yeah. Well this is a medium, medium. medium. Yeah. The light I wouldn't use those more on like on a car right out the lot. Because if we did a bad job of giving this car a ceramic coat. What? and it wouldn't be in this condition. What condition? It's top prime condition, bro. It's very easy to this maintain. Look at this, huh? bro. Show me clay bar. Let's see how dirty it is. Right, Let's see. It's all black, can I do? <sighs> no, it's not. Look at that, bro. It has stuff. So if it wasn't uh, coated, it, it would have been like... If it, was, it wasn't coated, all the, you know, the brick, all the sap, anything that usually would typically stay on a car, when it's not maintenance right, it would, you would see the results on this clay bar. But. And the paint wouldn't be as glossy. We maintain the gloss here too. What do you mean by glossy? Like we make sure that your shine stays like, you know when you get a car out of the dealer, uh, off the showroom, super shiny, yeah. extremely shiny as you use your car and you don't treat it the proper way the shine will decline shine will decline you don't want the shine to decline so bring it to us and we'll maintain that shine yeah. and that's with the like, paper or you have other products you use to um make, clean the car itself you know every week or um ceramic coatings waxes all that so how's it feeling Andres? After the clay bar. The clay bar, bro, as you can see. Super smooth? Really smooth, brother. Smooth, smooth. So Feels right. Did the foam, the clay bar? Yeah, we did. We need to apply a sealant just to protect the paint. And uh, windows. Windows? Windows. Make sure the rims clean up, get extra little dirt mm -hmm. streaks. And that's all. And right here, you know. I forgot a clay bar this one smear, but I'm gonna hit it right now. But this is how you could definitely tell a car's not clay barred or not protected at all. Oh, uh, because of the, the bugs? Well, yeah, this is how you know. Not just. Your finger? Yeah, brother, every time you go off roading, you gotta definitely protect the car. Because yeah. if, if the customer would leave that there and I would stay there, that would definitely mess with the clear coat and damage the paint. You done the walk right here? Yeah, just the can we take a walk over there and I can look at them better? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to do that. Huh? Sorry, you know Swedish. I don't know. Yeah, I'm the only one. It's not good, you know, hey, man. You know, sometimes when you do good at customer service and you're there to do, make the customer happy, she's very excited to tell someone else, like her neighbors. You know, I think, I'm not sure if he's been looking for a detour any, any reason, but all I know is that she brought him over and said that, hey, like, check these guys out and now he's just gonna go and let's see if he got the selling skills, you know? I swear, I swear that besides detailing, it's crucial, man. You gotta have customer service skills and you gotta have selling skills, you know, or else how are you gonna get work if you're not selling work? So, so now Angel wants to go check out the... Angel's gonna go check it out, go see what's wrong with it, 
go see what it will need and give him a quote. And if he likes us, if he agrees with the price, then we should get to it. Maybe in the next video. So the car's basically done. I already, why do you need to finish the windows? It's already waxed, the tires are clean. So we're all good. And where, where's Angel? Jeez, my boy Angel, man. He's, he's out there working. <laughs> nah, I think the customer was, lives down the street, so probably had to take a little walk, you know? And he, you know, he's probably talking to the customer and making sure he's on the same page on what to expect from us. You guys, think, you guys think you'll have a new customer? Hey, man, well, depend, it depends, man. If it's the right customer for us, yes. If it's the customer, you know, trying to get a detail for cheap or doesn't really see our value, then probably not. I'll say next. next, man, you know, so. Here, look at this guy. Yeah. That's what coming up that hill feels like. Oh, did you see that? Sorry. Oh, yeah, um, we're gonna, <coughs> we're gonna, Clay and wax the Malibu, and then we're gonna basic wash his truck, and then clay and wax his work truck. I'm so out of breath. Oh yeah. Hill. There she is, man. Look at you. Go. Look at Thank that. you. Woo Hell yeah. Woo Go a and Great clients like this yeah. young lady right here. <laughs> there we go. That's the dance right there. That's the money dance. <laughs> <laughs> Mission. There we go. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna hire you out, hey, man. <laughs> out there. We're gonna hire you as a little, as our, uh, as our. What do you call? What do you, I don't know what it's even called. A what promoter? is that even called? Promoter. Yeah, yeah. Promoter. I'll, You're just on the team. I'll, I'll put my little we, decal we, on, on my we car. Just, <laughs> <laughs> we need a sticker right there. Oh yeah. There we go. So you just got yeah. a new client. Whew. Yeah. New client. It was a Malibu, his mother's Malibu. The old ones? It's like a 2018. Okay, the new ones. Interiors, very, it's basically sitting under a tree. It's all contaminated. So stay tuned for that video. Um, it's really contaminated, it just needs a clay bar and then he just wants to wax it. I, as we were walking over there, he already knew what he wanted so I didn't have to do much. Um, so you knew already? Basically, he knew what he wanted. He said he got a clay and wax a couple years ago on one of his cars, you know. You guys seen it here, that's how we take care of a full detail. We clay barred it, we gave it a wax, we brushed every door, we extracted some stains. Let us know how you guys do it um, down in the comments below. If you want to continue to see our journey, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to our channel at a, a Deluxe Detail. And don't forget to also be a good person today, you know? Always help someone, whether it's something small or huge, you know? Whether it's, you know, telling your mom what she needs, maybe she's hungry or maybe she needs help cleaning something you know just get out there and be a hero man let's get it